Hey guys, in lieu of me not streaming last night, I decided we're going to work on some YouTube videos. Today we're going to do a short tutorial on how to do counters like death counters, or burp counters, or fail counters. Let's get after it, shall we? So we're going to open up Firebot, and now we're going to go the dashboard we're going to go down here to counters we'll click that new counter this one's going to be called death counter remember the name because we're going to need to use it for another command so what we're going to do is hit control a to select all control c to copy it that way we can just hit control v to paste it you can have a minimum amount of deaths or you could have a maximum amount of deaths say you want a minimum to be like one so you definitely died today so you know, people aren't like oh this guy's the best in the world he never dies or maybe you want to be the best in the world so you don't want to have a minimum of one because you want to be awesome maybe you're not going to die today and then in the maximum settings you can have a maximum say like 20 you only want to die 20 times but then you'd be lying to everybody if you died 22 times so I don't have a maximum or a minimum set because you never know any given day. Here is the current value. You click on it. You can change it. You can make it more. So say you already died today and you want to add the numbers or you want to reset it back to zero. We can also make a command for resetting it. Now in the effects category, normally I would add some sounds or something, but we don't need to because this is just the counter. So it doesn't need effects. However, I like to add a chat effect that notifies people how many times I've died. So, for this we're going to do, Nim died a lot today. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to click this little icon dealy. This gives you links to minimal codes. So you click it. We're going to type in counter. And right here, we're just going to hit the plus. And go back to here. So see, it's already entered the code. We're going to hit a space here. So Nim died space. Then the number counter now where it says name you're going to remove name and we're going to hit that control v so death counter is the name of the counter if you just leave it as name it will do nothing for you Nim died death counter times today what a noob what a boob what a noob and you could whisper it to your people but everybody needs to know how many times i died today to add it we don't need a q because we just want it to happen instantaneously and it doesn't need to wait in line. We're going to hit save. Now we're going to go to commands, new custom command, and this one we're going to call Nim Dead. So someone has to type this in chat, Nim Dead. And then we could scan the whole message, but we're not going to because this is a death counter. So it should be just a quick one, one word command. You could have to do dead with an exclamation mark, whatever. Firebot, you know, you don't need exclamation marks. I don't use them. You can. Most people do. We don't need a cooldown because say you were on cooldown for 20 seconds and you died again. Like you say you were playing Halo Legendary Campaign and you died. You came back, you died five seconds later. If you were on cooldown, the command wouldn't work, the counter wouldn't update. Things would get all complicated. So we're not going to add a cooldown, but we are going to add the effect. So we're going to go to effect and we're going to type counter. We're going to update counter. So we're going to select the counter, which is the death counter. We're going to go up incrementally by one. Died once, so you go up by one. You could also make a command for setting your counter back to zero. So to do that, you'd click set here and you'd change this to zero. However, this command is adding them. So we're going to go incrementally up by one. So we're going to click add. And I like to add another sound effect because that's what I do. Type play. and by sound and I got a file right here Deadpool did I leave the stove on it works so we're gonna click add and now we're gonna add this to Q because I don't want sounds to overlap so two seconds if you didn't add the sound you wouldn't have to add it to Q but where's the fun of that well, now we're gonna click save changes and if we go back to dashboard make sure we're connected to twitch we type it here in chat and dead did I leave the stove on him died what one times noob. today. Now if I type it again, Nim dead. Did I leave the stove on? Nim died two times today. What a noob. Fart died two times 
to farty, what a noob. Okay, butt spot. I changed butt spots, word to fart. He's silly, right? We type Nim dead one more time just to be sure. Did I leave the stove? Here we go. Nim died three times today. <laughs> I forget that I have other commands. Play. Anyways, we're going to go back to commands real quick. And now we're going to create one more command. This one's going to be... Reset death. And all we're going to do is go down to effects and write counter. And we're going to update the counter. Select the counter of death counter. Set it to zero. So back on the reset for the day. And no queue because it just wanted to be instantaneously. Save changes. And now we're going to go back. We're going to check to see if that works. Reset death. It's a long command. You could do like RD or something like that. What a new. There you go. I've died zero times today. All right, guys, and that's the simplicity of adding a counter. You could add it a verb counter, you could add a Twitch fails counter, or OBS fi fails counter, pardon me. You can add, or I just burped, see, there you go, burp counter. But uh, yeah, that's how you add the counters. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you like what you saw here today, make sure you subscribe for more awesome, easy tutorials. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Remember, you're awesome.